The return spring is part of your small engine's starter cup assembly. The spring fits around the starter pawl, applying tension to engage the pawl with the pull starter. Over time, the springs can wear and break. Replacing the return spring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the upper motor cover. Now I can remove the starter. Now I can remove the starter pulley assembly. To do that, I'll first need to remove the spark plug. If I try to unscrew the pulley cup, it'll just rotate the engine over. So to avoid that, I'll take a small piece of rope and insert it through the spark plug hole. This will fill the space between the top of the combustion chamber and the piston. That'll bind up the piston so the engine can't rotate over. and I'll use a pair of adjustable pliers to remove it. Now I'll remove one or both of the starter pawls, depending on which are damaged. Before I remove them, you'll notice inside the cup, there's two mounting locations marked with an L and two with an R. And this has to do with the direction that the cup rotates. I want to make note of this so when I reassemble it, I'll get the paws in the right place. In this case, they're attached to the R locations. I'll tip the cup over and use a small screwdriver to remove the clip. With the clip removed, I can rotate the cup back over and remove the paw, being careful to not lose the spring. I'll remove the spring from the paw. Now I can install the new return spring. I'll wrap the leg of the spring around the back side of the pawl. I'll insert the pawl through the hole in the cup and apply tension to the spring. I'll rotate the cup over and secure the pawl with the clip. Now I can reinstall the starter pulley assembly. I'll thread it onto the crankshaft. And again, use the adjustable pliers to tighten it. Now I can remove the rope from the cylinder and reinstall the spark plug. Now I can reinstall the starter. I'll align the starter with the starter cup and begin securing it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the motor cover.
And now you know how to replace the return spring in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.